Hi. Hello, everyone. I'd like to um, uh, I'd like to first thank uh, Atatalata for giving me this uh, great opportunity for uh, to uh, uh, connect with my readers directly, and uh, I'd like to thank you for that. Um, so they um, they asked me to choose. A, uh, I got a lot of questions during this campaign, and they asked me to choose a few questions and reply to them. Uh, so I have done that. It is not. It was not uh, very easy because I had a lot of questions, and many of them were very interesting ones. But I have chosen a few. Um, so my uh, first question is from uh, Vaibhav Lakot. Uh, he asks me, the book uh, brings to life such shocking truths. How rampant are such practices? Uh, Vaibhav, I would not uh, like to uh, talk in, in specific detail about what horror, what social evil this book deals with because that is a, that's an integral part of the suspense and I don't want to take away from the, uh, I don't want to spoil it for those who have not read it yet. But I would like to share a very sad thing. It's a very sad thing that uh, I could have placed this novel anywhere. In so many ways, because I placed it in Gujarat, but I could have it could have been Rajasthan, it could have been UP, Bihar, Punjab, Haryana, it could have been South India. Uh, all these places, this practice is still there in some form or another. It is still there. it's happening. Another thing I want to um, share with you, which is also very very, I mean, it was very traumatic for me is that uh, all these states have different methodology for putting this evil into practice. Uh, when, I, when I was doing research on this subject, I had to read up a lot about all of these things and uh, trust me, it was so traumatic. I couldn't sleep for nights. And I promise you, if you read it, you also will not be able to sleep. It's really sad to read. So, um, yeah. So my second question I have taken is from uh, Anil Parimal, and uh, he asked me how different is this book from the other three you have written, and did your writing process change while writing it? Um, Anil, this book has been different from the other three books earlier. Book. From the get go, absolutely. Um, see, usually when uh, when you think when a, when an author thinks of a plot story concept, it's a huge moment for them. You know, like um, it's a big rush. You, I, I tend to jump around, dance around the house, and just it's such a joyful moment for me usually. This story, when I thought of this story, I was sitting there and crying for 10 minutes. Like crying like this, crying. And that is when I realized that um, something very strong, very moving, which uh, I should do justice to. And so, um, and there's another way that this story is different from the other three. That those stories, I had the whole, whole story ready in my mind. It was all there. The whole plot, everything was there. This one, I only had the bare bones of a plot. Oh. Just half a story. That's the basic concept I had in my mind. Uh, so then I did some research and I chose Run of Kutch as a place for this, to place this story. And, uh, and I got in touch with a social organization uh, who deals, who works a lot in Rana. They are the ones who suggested, why don't you, when they heard the parameters I needed to for the story, they suggested, so why don't you go to this village called Kuran, which is the last village on Indo Park border. And uh, that was intriguing. So I said, yeah, okay, fine. And I that's where I went with my attendant. Uh, when I went to Kuran, I realized that this uh, suggestion of this village was absolutely 
um, go and skip. Because that whole atmosphere of Kurana Kach, Kurana itself, the Indo Pak border, the terrorism angle, um, uh, the, uh, the smuggling angle, and the job, the main job, the job of my main character, Virinder, which is that of a puggy, a tracker with BSF. All that has added so much. It has taken the uh, novel to a different dimension altogether. Uh, I, I do believe that um, Quran was an inspired choice and, uh, I, and the, the inspiration was from God. So that is another way in this um, novel has been different. I, this is how it has affected my writing in a different way. Um, so my um, third question is uh, from Bonnie Abraham. Uh, she asked, is awareness more important or legislation when it comes to eradicating such horrors? Uh, Bonnie, uh, yes, of course, legislation is very important. Um, but as we all know, it is not everything. It can't do everything. It can't be everything. Essentially, you have to change attitudes. And that only can be done by bringing awareness. And that is what uh, my novel tries to do. That is the whole idea behind this novel. I, I wanted to uh, see, like, it's, it's, not, it's not as if that uh, there is a lot of reading material out there in public domain about this issue. It's not as if it's not there. It is people, people read it also, people know about it. The thing is, it's mostly talked about or read about in uh, numbers, in abstract, and as you know very well, numbers dehumanize. They uh, take, they dilute the horror of the whole thing. You know, um, so what I my effort is to change it from a statistic to a story to make you um, not just think it's horror it's horror which is why what I have done is I have, uh, I have tried to shrink this whole abstract world of this issue into a small family of uh, Mankur, Virinder and their two children Summer and Rani and through what they go through through their lives what happens to them I want make it personalized for you. I want it to touch you. I want it to hit you. That is on a very personal level. That is the whole idea. To make, turn it from abstract to something which hits hard. So if this story has done that to you, if it has hit you hard, then uh, I would request my I would request you to uh, spread the word about it so that other people also read it. It's important that this story should be read, is what I really feel. So, um, yeah, so these are the three questions I have, I chose, and uh, I also was asked to um, choose a winner of, of the giveaway. I have chosen uh, Bonnie, Bonnie Abraham. Congratulations, Pani, for that. And um, yeah, it's, 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 a, it's a great, it's a good thing being with you all, you guys over there. Thank you so much. And do read my book. And if you like it, if you think this story should reach more people, please do reach out. Please do spread the good word. Thanks a lot.